Hello and good morning everyone out there on LinkedIn. I received so many questions this past week regarding the differences between the HoloLens 2 and HoloLens 1 computer vision systems, more specifically the Azure V3 depth camera uh, versus the depth camera in the original HoloLens. And one of the bigger questions was whether or not you can include occlusion um, in hand tracking like the Meta 2 did, right? They went from a, an older version of their SDK where they didn't have occlusion and then they upgraded to 72 hertz refresh um, with occlusion in 2.7 uh, in their SDK. So in the original HoloLens 1.0, you could also design occlusion in holograms. It just you, you essentially had to design some shaders and, and a black backdrop around your hands. Uh, but if you look at the short throw time of flight depth camera here on the left hand side, you definitely could have done this on the original HoloLens 1.0 and they will almost uh, assuredly include it um, within the HoloLens 2.0. I'm not sure if it's going to be within the UI operating system, but many of the uh, applications will now include it because of the 25 point hand tracking versus the 22 point hand tracking in the uh, um, Leap Motion and the nine point hand tracking for the Magic Leap. Now Magic Leap has 21 points uh, outlined in their holders, but all those placeholders are void when you go to pull the information out. So ask Magic Leap if they'd be willing to release an application like this so we can play with the computer vision. That'd be really fun. But let's see if I can show an example of occlusion for the HoloLens 1.0 just so you understand what that looked like. Thank you guys so much. Let's jump in.